a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page and love and tradition of the grand design some people a lot of people say running a family business is not easy. Or they say, there's no way I could work with my spouse. There's no way I could work with my brother, my mom, my dad. It's just not gonna happen. There's just no way that could happen. How could you work with your brother? That's gotta be like frustrating or hard. But the reality of it is we saw it our whole life. And so in this podcast, we're gonna talk about what does it mean to run a family business what does it mean to have a relationship with your brother and how do you actually do it in a way that is successful and actually can accomplish the vision? We're going to break down the transition in parents actually starting a company and then having to take that company over and then transition and the frustrations and the butting heads and the different uh, mentalities and the different opinions and how do we do that in a way that's successful and honoring God. And so we're going to talk about that. Me and my brother is going to sit down and chat. Kingsley Bryce, uh, Administrator and CEO of Affordable Medical Supplies. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up, man? Good to see you, man. Likewise. <laughs> Glad I can make a special guest appearance. Uh, the King Kingsley. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? What's good? good to see you, man. See you too, good man. to see you, man. Always good to, to, to chat with my brother. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. We do this all the time. We usually will sit down every Tuesday and just kind of catch up. Mm -hmm. And so what we were thinking was, let's talk about what Kingsley does, you know, what yeah. affordable yeah. is. A lot of patients and families have questions on DME and what DME entails. And so we were like, let's just talk about it. Let's run through durable medical equipment and let's also talk about you know who we are as brothers yeah running you know family businesses like the yeah. struggle of running a transitional business where both of our parents are entrepreneurs yeah coming from nigeria coming to america and then you know starting businesses and then yeah. us as brothers not really wanting to take over those businesses yeah yeah and then you know just kind of talking it up so but yeah, Kingsley, thank you so much. You know, you know, sure. I know you my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Man, but a lot of people don't. So just tell yeah. us about yourself just in general. And sure, sure. So, um, I mean, like I said, he already knows about me. Yeah. Um, but for you all who don't know about me, uh, my name is Kingsley Bryce. I uh, grew up here in the Plano area as well um, with my brother. So um, I was a couple of years younger than my brother. Or I am a couple of years younger than him. So everywhere that he went, essentially I went, you know, mm -hmm. elementary school, high school, then even college crazy. went to the same place. So um, it's been cool. I've been um, here back in Dallas after college for, gosh, it's been like- 2016, right? Yeah, it's almost eight years now. Wow. So um, since then came back, um, helped my dad grow his company. So mm -hmm. when I came back, it was really just the two of us. Mm -hmm. And so since then we've kind of grown it to where we have seven employees um, all throughout the Dallas Metroplex. We've changed a lot of our identity, a lot of new ideas. Um, I went back to school to get my MBA as well, just mm -hmm. to sharpen up my own skill set. And then, yeah, I've been growing since then. So it's been it's been a roller coaster, but I've definitely learned a lot, mm. a lot of skills, a lot of formation, a lot of things that you had to learn on the go. So it's been it's been good yeah. overall. Hold on, man. You, you you, you missed out the fact that you played professional soccer. Yeah. Come on, I man. Did, like, man. Come I on, did, man. Like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> soccer obviously is a big part of our family. Um, yeah. You know, our dad played, and then growing up, we played all, all together. And then, um, yeah, I played it right after college for about a year and a half professional. So mm. um, it was a great experience. I mean, just being able to travel, play with people that you watched, you know, growing up on TV. Yeah. Um, just pushing yourself to those kind of limits. It definitely installs a level of discipline that's yeah. for sure necessary yeah. for a lot of stuff that we do. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, athletics has helped us just shape our mindset, yeah. shape our determination, and yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's crazy because all we knew was soccer was kids, yeah. you know, like in, yeah. in like our whole lives. But I like how you said that, like a lot of the things that we learned in soccer actually prepared us for yeah. Yeah. for leadership you yeah. know there's translatable skills there which is great if you if you are able to really like grasp it you know hmm. what I'm saying? like during that process of of training if you have that mindset if you yeah. adopt that mindset it can carry you a lot further yeah. Yeah. than just the field that's, so that's yeah. awesome that's mm -hmm. awesome mm -hmm. man all right if you're watching this thank you so much if you haven't already please like and subscribe this video
it helps, I think, the algorithm a lot. And uh, I hope this helps and educates you well. So let's keep it moving. Oh, that's very good. A what? brother story. <laughs> brother story? What do you mean? How we became yeah. brothers? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like how you went from just being like, because you, you weren't, you're not like, you're kind of thrown into it a little. Yeah, yeah okay. So yeah. how did you just like adjust? Jeez. That's a good question. That's, that's a very good question. Boy. Yeah. And being like, I don't know if this was like you guys, but like, I don't want anything to do with the family business. Ooh. Like, yeah, 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 that's good. Man. And then from just all of a sudden being like thrown into it, like how do you just change your mindset? That's a great question. question. That's a great question. We can just talk about that. Yeah. 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 I mean. We both had different plans. 100%. Yeah, we both had different 100%. Talk about yours, where, yeah. That's not what we wanted to do initially. Obviously, growing up, I think for me, wanted to become a medical doctor. So mm. I had, even in college, went through the process of applying for the MCAT, did the pre med route. I was a psych major, played D1 division soccer. I was doing all of it, you yeah. know, and finished everything. And obviously, took the detour, like you could say, a gap year to do. Um, Actually, he got drafted by the MLS, so that's really the truth. The gap so year, <laughs> yeah, the gap that's really year. what happened, right? And then <laughs> when I started, you know, reapplying and taking my exams, you know, just I think for myself, it was just hitting the realization that, you know, that process is going to take me time. Mm. That's a reality for me, you know. And it was, you know, not passing the exam one time, then you have to study again, and not passing, and then also the entrance times for, you know, medical school is not. It's not every semester, you know, it's almost annually. So yeah. just hitting those times, you know, considering going to the Caribbean to do, you know, there's yeah. a lot of things that kind of hit and a lot of it was just like, well, what is it that I really want to do? And I think the biggest thing was like, he was just having Elijah at the time. Man. And I was like, man, I don't want to be away from my nephews. Like, yeah. that's big to me. Like, I don't want to be away from seeing them grow up. Because the reality is I would have been gone from like the first six years of their life. They wouldn't have known me. And I'm like, I don't think I want that. So um, yeah. I was already around, you know, my dad had, you know, he, he his company was just super small. He was the only one running the shop by himself. Yeah. And we were in like a twelve hundred square foot spot. And yeah. you know, I was I think by nature I was always one that's just like I wanna see things grow. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I got there and I was working for him, gosh, I was probably making like man, like six hundred dollars a month. Yeah. yeah. You know. But it was it was what you did because you had to keep yourself busy. I was like playing soccer and then I was just like, All right, I'll have to do something so I would go there. Took a couple, a little while before I started to click for me, where I was just like, yeah. "All right, man, like, this is what's in my hands right now, mm -hmm. you know." And I want things to grow. And I had a conversation with him. I was like, "Hey, you know, if you want me to continue to be here, that means that this company has to grow." That was the conversation I had with him, and he said, "Okay, well, we'll do it." Yeah. And then yeah. that was it. That's how we started. So, at least on my side, your yeah. side was. Different. <laughs> yeah, it's silly. It was crazy. I think it's almost the same stories, right? Like, yeah, we went to, I wanted to become a doctor. So he yeah. said, doctor, I wanted to become a doctor. I went to school mm -hmm. and uh, found a physical therapy doctor program and then played D1 soccer. Mm -hmm. Went to the whole thing, graduated with my bachelor's uh, in kinesiology, health information management. Um, I had one more year and didn't make it. Had some, you know, anxiety, depression issues and just basically flunked out of the doctor program, which I was like, dang, you know, like, mm -hmm. I was crazy. And so at that time, I was like, what do I do? You know, yeah. luckily, um, my girlfriend at that time, wife now, she was in nursing school, and I got into a PTA program um, in St. Louis. Yeah. And they, you know, basically I graduated really quickly because I had done all the classes, then worked in a hospital uh, at the regional hospital there. And, you know, I was like, man, I really enjoy taking care of yeah. patients. like. I could do this, you know? And so I did that for a while. But then I, th I still was like, man, I really want to finish my doctor program. After mm -hmm. a couple of years, I worked at the hospital and I was like, I want to go back. So I applied to like eight schools <clears throat> and all those eight schools said no. And mm -hmm. I was like, what the? I was like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. And literally at that time, me and my wife were like, at that time, well, now we were married, she was like, you know, what do you, you, know, what do, you want to do? And my mom, mom called me and she was like, at that time, she was like, I'm tired. And I was like, you just not sleep the night before? Like, why, yeah. why are you saying, you know, mom, sleep. mom always like, yeah, I'm tired. I'm like, oh, I know, you say that a lot, mom. I'm like, you said that a lot. You're tired, go sleep. <laughs> and so, but she was like, no, I want to I want to sell the business. And I was like, what? You've never said that. Yeah. And so, you know, I was talking to my, my wife, and she was, I was like, do you want to move back to Texas? And I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this, but I know my mom needs help. Yeah. So in my mind, I was like, I'm, I'm going to go to help my mom, you know, I wasn't thinking about the business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't thinking about my, even myself. I was like, I'm gonna help my mom, you know? And 
And at that time, it was actually the, around the same time that you actually came back. Yeah. Which is crazy. So we moved back, and I'm like, I don't remember how old I was. Eight years ago, um, my mom put me in like a straight leadership position, and I'm like, uh, as I'm a kid. Like, yeah. I, all I know is patient care. I know how to take care of patients. I know make sure. I know how to take care of people. I know yeah. how to do that. Leadership, all that stuff. I had to learn on the fly, and it was it was tough, you know. Um, yeah, it was not what I wanted to do. It took me, I think it took probably a good five years for me to be like, whoa, okay, I can, as a clinician, I can only take care of one person at a time. But as a leader, I can make sure that everyone takes care of patients like I would so we could take care of more patients, like, well. Yeah. But that's that took a while, and I think, I think both of us can say, like, honestly, we, we meet with the last several years. We've met on every yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. And we've encouraged each other. Because it's, it's sharpened. Sharing like, ideas. And, I'll yeah. be like, bro, this is crazy. This happened with this employee. I don't know what to do. He'd be like, man, that happened to me too. Uh, you know, and, and then yeah. we just encourage each other. I think that's why, our, like, our friendship and our brotherhood, you know, is, is yeah. so strong, you know. Yeah. Because we go through stuff together. Yeah. You know. That's for sure. Um, yeah. I don't know both of us. Didn't I did, it did not ever see? <laughs> no, I did not. No, yeah, no. That's that's usually how yeah. how it works. That's usually how God works. It's always different than what you think, you know. Yeah, but <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And then also us being Nigerian, like our families, like our you guys know we, we both said both of us want to be doctors. You know, you know, immigrant parents is just they kind of like doctor, lawyer, engineer. Yeah. You know, but they never really forced it on us. It was just more like uh. what we desired. Yeah. But I, you know, I think it's, you know, it's just that seeing our parents always work hard, Mm -hmm. you know, you know, they'd be working and me, my brother would be at home kicking it. Mm -hmm. I put chicken nuggets in the microwave. We'd watch, you know, Ed, Ed and Eddie, you know, and it'd just be me and him at home while my parents are working. Like, but we just, that's just the nature of, you know, immigrant household, immigrant household. Yeah. So it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah. Great question. Great question. So it was like wanting to help your parents that came first and then like learning the leadership and entrepreneurship. Yeah. Yeah. I think those were, I think there were skill sets that we had in us. That's very true. But they were exercised in business. Mm. Hmm. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So like, I think I had, I'd have had those traits, you know, whether it was yeah. in soccer, yeah. whether it was in discipline. Yeah, yeah, it was just always there. But then, like, came out. It was different, yeah. When you when you get to create it or start it, because mm-hmm. you know, now it's like, well, you, you kind of shape it in the way that you kind of want it to look like. Mm-hmm. So obviously, the way that the, that Charlotte is run is very much how Charles is. Yeah, you yeah. see his imprint through all of it. You yeah. know, the way that he carries himself, the way that he wants you guys to carry yourselves, the way that he. He communicates to people the care that he provides is just his nature mm-hmm. and the same way that i run my company yeah. it's like it's very much of my nature of just like yeah i want to be a person of your word like make sure you be honest with people tell them how exactly how it is yeah care for them you know that's the stuff so the benefits came later but there was man a hard learning curves and we're i mean obviously we're still, still learning, learning but it was just still like learning. big hard learning curves and now that our parents are kind of in that space where you know you, you look back and they've done so much for you yeah initially you want to help them and that turns into now it's been our job for years that we've been doing this um and now it's like we're still in a way taking care of them yeah right? that's the goal for us is to continue to take care of them and in yeah. doing so we take care of others so yeah yeah i think the biggest the biggest also the biggest with any family business or anyone who's even wanting to work, go into a family business where their parents are taking it over i think it's it's making sure that the two visions they're like divisions right so when there's like yeah. Someone who's been who's been the pioneer, they have a way of doing it. But yeah. a lot of times with the pi- with pioneers, when you can't scale because that pioneer holds on to everything, yeah, right. And it's a lot of trust, yeah, and it's a lot of empowering others. And so, yeah, the, that I would definitely say that I think that when you are, if you guys are even considering doing a family business, you have there are dynamics you have to understand. Yeah, you have to respect. Right. Yeah. Number one, the pioneer is the one who started it. You can't, you know, take it away from them. There has to be an agreement in place of yeah. how that process goes down. And then the pioneer also has to respect the next generation of, yeah. this is the reality is that I'm no longer, I can't be here forever, but the person who's going to take care of it, I need to make sure that they're equipped to do it yeah. in a good way and that they're free to do it in the way that they want to. Yeah. So there is the, like, you have to be 
very much obviously your family but i think one thing that i you know charles and i are talking about is just there has to be a good separation yeah even though you do everything together there has to be a good separation or just like Space. hey <laughs> yeah like i go home i don't talk to my dad yeah because i see him you know yeah. i see him all the time now yeah. we're different now because you know i've been doing it for years but when i first started i was just like mm -hmm. i used to um i used to live at home and Ooh. then work with them so can Ooh. you imagine the boundaries that had to be yeah yeah I just you know all the time so you know, eventually when you get older, you get, you know, we got married and you got separated. There's a clear separation to now. Now it's like you know, outside of business, we don't talk about business. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how me and dad yeah, are. You know, yeah, I don't yeah. talk about business outside of business. I don't bring it home. Yeah, you know, I keep that between the hours of you know seven to five for yeah. me. Yeah, and then you know, lay it to rest. It's the best thing for you know family. Yeah, and then our our health of our family too. Yeah, and then you know, it's just, that's what I've learned. But yeah, yeah, there it's. If you're considering getting into it, I think you just have to make sure, like you said, that you guys have the same vision. Yeah. And because once you have two separate visions, like you said, there is division. The yeah. That's just what it is. So it is. Make yeah. sure it's the same vision, and then also make sure that things are written down. Ooh. I think that's Golly. big. Yeah, just make sure things are written down so that, you know, like I said, be it, uh, whenever you say something, do it. So but write it down to make sure it's, mm -hmm. it's done. Yeah, yeah. So. And a lot of times your timetable, so the person who's coming in who is trying to it sees things that maybe the pioneer may not see. The timetable is a lot longer than you think. Mm -hmm. you have, there's a lot of molding. There's a lot of humbling. There's a lot of, okay, yes, the person who started it knows more because experience is the best teacher, mm -hmm. right? And so it's humbling to say, okay, yeah, I don't know everything. I yeah. need to be able to say, yeah, what, he's, what he or she, mom or dad is yeah. saying is true, but there's also a grain of education. I could take that and kind of make it yeah. as my own, right? So just being able to understand that. And there's a lot of, it's hard. <laughs> bro, I, man, bro, yeah. I had Afro. Both of us Both had of us had Afro Afros we before we started this. It's gone. Both of us. Yeah, so it's, there's, a, there's definitely He's got the beard, of, I ain't got the beard. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying, but I give up because it's, it's patchy. <laughs> <laughs> Mom just migrated. But it was, um, no, it's, it's, it's definitely hard. It's not, it's not an easy thing. It's not, it's not. It's not always the most gratifying. It's not, not always the most rewarding. You know, process because it does require a lot of you. It requires a lot of your time. It requires a lot of your energy, your effort, and your belief. It requires a lot. Um, it does. So you know, but you continue going because you realize, like, man, there is purpose in it. Yeah. And that's what yeah. keeps you going. There's purpose in what you're doing. When you find purpose in your work, like, yeah, you keep going. Yeah. So. And I think the biggest thing that keeps us driving forward is like, is is seeing the. F like the fruit of our labor, like seeing the, what we do succeed. Yeah. Right. So like well, the reason why we go through all the mess is like, okay, we, we, we want to see it work. You know, yeah. we want to see it. We want to see patients happy. We want to see families doing well, you know, mm -hmm. easily most businesses, family business, they'll go and just sell right to a private equity, but there's nothing wrong with that. Right. At all. But a lot of times you just, you want to see like, man, the stuff that you put in work, it actually is affecting yeah. the community, you know? So, but yeah, that's why I would, that's a great question. Yeah. Good yeah. question. Yeah. Any others? No. That's great. <laughs> Sweet. Man, thanks good guys for uh, yeah. thanks guys for hopping on and and, and uh, hanging us hanging out with us, mm -hmm. uh, Kings. Man, we we'll probably we'll do we'll do this again. Some yeah, more. we would definitely will do some more. Sure. So, but yeah, if you if you need DME, if you want DME, and you're in the Dallas Marketplace, yeah, that's the guy. Find so. us. We got we have our socials on there, so you can find our page. Mm -hmm. you'll, if you have any questions, you feel free to ask us. So we're there to help you guys. Yeah. Out. Sweet. Right. Awesome. Bryce boys out. See you guys. <laughs>